Already, Dan the Man from Digger's Realm has been waiting patiently. Dan, how have you been, buddy? Hey, William, how you doing? I'm glad you tuned in. How are we doing? Yeah. How, how do we sound? Are we getting through? Yeah, it sounds great. It sounds wonderful. It's uh, been a great first show for you. Well, Dan, that folks, is uh, the head of Digger's Realm, and we got to work together for the first time last year, uh, about this time of year, in Washington, D.C., for Hold Their Feet to the Fire with Fair and Roger Hedgecock. And uh, Dan's got a great blog at diggersrealm.com. And, uh, Dan, I want to tell you, I was speaking with our mutual friend, Jake Jacobson, of Jake and MJ of Freedom Folks, a little earlier yeah, today. Mm-hmm. We're going to do a show in the future that's all about bloggers. Oh, cool, you, cool. You guys are one of the driving engines in our movement. Also, I saw a video clip today I hadn't seen before. Have you seen the video clip of McCain saying he hates bloggers? <laughs> no, I haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I hate those bloggers. Uh, well, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> well, he, well, here's something. I'm going to let you say what you want, but here's a cutting-edge news flash. Uh, our monitoring of the Internet indicates a recent increase in the number of pro-illegal alien or pandering bloggers. It is apparent that the multi-million dollar influences that are fighting to try to take us on are making a conscientious effort to increase their presence in the blogosphere. So what you, Dan, what you're doing and what Jake and many other activists are doing is not only very important, but we're going to have to put you in a bottle and, and spread it around a bit. We're going to have to have a show where you guys can tell average citizens how they can simply uh, and hopefully with a little bit of guidance and assistance get into the blogosphere with us because the enemy the enemy is coming in fast, Dan. They're, they're popping up all over the place, and it's clearly an organized effort they're making. Oh, definitely. It's, I, I think it's an organized effort. Uh, it's behind this We Can Stop the Hate campaign by La Raza and all these other groups put together. I think their blogging and their Internet presence is one of those pieces that they're trying to put in there. Well, and you know, the, one of the reasons they're losing that's so funny is instead of trying to win the hearts and minds of Americans and come up with some type of logical or reasonable argument about why they support illegal immigration and amnesty, all they're trying to do, 90% of it is trying to smear good people uh, in our movement, smear me, uh, trying to say, you know, to stir the waters, the mud up in the waters around us to try to get people not to listen to us or join in what we're doing. And that's 90% of their focus. Uh, they they want to stop the hate. I'd like to see them stop the lies first because when I've looked at we can stop the hate dot org or whatever it is, uh, the biggest bunch of lies coming out of professional groups that I would well, never. Well, about exp- that website. I mean, if you look at it, all their sourcing on the increase in uh, tax on Hispanics and all of that refers back to reports that they themselves have written years ago. So uh, <laughs> you know they're referencing themselves and saying it's fact. Right. And they build lies upon layers of lies. They yeah, exactly. establish one lie, and then they quote it in another thing. And, you know, that's, that's why I go back to the truth, Dan, because you can tell who's telling the truth in politics sometimes because they'll have six people pointing at them and screaming liar. Yeah, and so the, tr- the truth is our side, our friend, and, and you know what you're doing with Digger's Realm uh, is, is so important. And you're also out there. You're all over events. You're making speeches. Yeah. You're on the move, man. You're a great example for this movement. Oh, thanks. Well, let me get to my point, what I wanted to call in about. I wanted to call in and let your viewers know, and I'm not sure if they're aware of it, but the continued assaults that are going on on patriotic Americans that are expressing their first right amendments um, on American soil, particularly out in California, we've had uh, groups that have been just protesting, uh, you know, using their First Amendment rights against uh, day labor sites and other illegal organizations that are hiring, um, hiring out illegal laborers that are being assaulted on the streets. Um, they've been hit with uh, bricks. Um, last week, a member was just protesting. Somebody pulled up in a car and said, are you a minute man? And he goes, yes, and they got out and tried to hit him. Um, luckily, that patriotic American was a, a veteran from Vietnam and took the guy down. But uh, th- this is continuing to go on. Uh, for, your, for your people out there who think this is just a a battle of words. Um, the other side is taking it to another level in some respects. Well, Dan, you, you brought up a good point. And I tell you, since we monitor the situation, there's maybe been about two or three incidents involving people on our side, the pro-enforcement side, maybe two or three incidents that have required an arrest of anybody protesting for our side. But for each one of those, there is a stack, and I mean a stack, 20, 30, 40 police oh, yeah. arrest incidents of the violence that's being manifest by the illegal aliens and their supporters. Now, well, all, your listeners it, should, all your listeners should be outraged at that. I mean, these are fellow American citizens. They're just they're speaking out. They are not attacking anybody. They're speaking out. They're holding signs, and they're being assaulted. It's outrageous. Well, yeah, but let's look at it for what it is. 
All right, two things. One, I'm not trying to generate any sympathy for anybody that takes politics to the unnecessary and improper level of violence like these illegal alien supporters are doing. It's wrong. But I will acknowledge that a lot of them are being told completely false things about people in our movement. When the Southern oh, yeah. Poverty Lie Center and the Defamation League and the National Council of the Race. Yeah, they're the stoking such- the hate. They're stoking the hate on their side. They're trying to create a real and present danger by lying. They're trying to, to convince people on the Spanish media that people like me, William Gein, would want to harm them because of the color of their skin, and that's not true. But when you say that falsehood about someone, you do create a clear and present danger. Two, here's the good news. These assaults are bad news, and everybody needs to be very careful with themselves on the street, but, but to be out there, the other side is losing their cool because they are losing. It doesn't matter if it's an argument with your husband or your wife or an argument you saw on the playground when you were six years old. You will notice that the side that starts swinging insults and swinging their fist is usually the side that's losing. So take heart, folks. Yes, the danger is increasing, especially in the hot zones like Southern California, but the mere fact that these people are starting to lash out more with their fist is a sign that they're losing this fight. Thanks yeah. for calling and in, all, Dan. To all of your listeners out there, if you do go to an event, make sure you do carry, carry self-protection. Carry some mace. I mean, you don't have to go overboard with concealed weapons or anything like that. But just just watch out for yourself and your fellow Americans. Hey, and look, carry the most important thing that you could carry, a video camera, and make sure somebody else has a second video camera on you because I would gladly, I'm a stand-up guy, Dan, but I would stand there with my hands in my pockets as they beat me down in front of those cameras to stand up for this cause because I know that the answer is not the violence, and by them exercising it, if they laid a hand on me, they laid a hand on you, in front of those cameras especially, then they have just cost their movement very dearly. So make sure you carry the video cameras, folks. I can't tell you how invaluable they have been. Thanks for calling in, Dan. We want to move quickly to Jake.